Hey, what's up? It's Wake for Xiaomi Fi, and today we're looking at Xiaomi's all new electric scooter 3. Their scooters have been one of the most popular products for quite a while now, but is it improved a lot? Well, let's, uh, let's find out. Let's go. In the box, you'll find the scooter, which needs to have the steering wheel handle attached. It's got the screws to mount that, an Allen key to do that with. Then it's got a spare tire, a tube to inflate the tire with, a charging cable and some instructions. That's about it. In terms of its looks and size, the Mi Scooter 3 hasn't really changed much. I have a white model this time around, but there's a black with blue model as well. The Mi Scooter 3 is 108 by 43 by 114 centimeters in size, weighing in at uh, 13 kilograms. It's got a 300 watts motor, up to 500 watts at peak. Comes with a 7650 milliamp hour battery, it's got a top speed of 25 kilometers an hour and a travel distance of about 30 km. It can ride up to 9 to about 10 degree slopes, which uh, Xiaomi advertises as a 16% incline. The scooter tree uses a new rare dual pad disc brake, which makes the brakes feel a bit more powerful. It's got the same 2 watts headlights as on the Scooter Pro 2, which is a bit brighter than previous generations. It's also got the 5 reflectors all around the scooter, as we've seen on the Scooter Pro 2 as well. On the back you can see the new braking system, which should improve the braking while in full speed, and I definitely noticed that it feels a bit stronger. The motor seems to be a bit different as well, as it's not really faster or anything, but it does seem to be a little bit more silent and it sounds better for some reason. The scooter still connects over Bluetooth 4.1 which allows you to set it up using the Mi Home app, which you're actually being forced to do as the scooter won't drive until you've watched the safety instruction video in the app. So once that's set up, you can start using it. So then how does it work? The basics of the scooter are exactly the same. We can turn it on and off with the single button control on the steering handle. Long pressing this button will turn the scooter on and off. Short pressing that will turn the headlights on and off. And double pressing will switch between its three speed modes. It's got a walking mode, which allows the scooter to kind of drive along when you're walking with it. D mode, which goes up to 20 kilometers an hour. And S or sports mode, which will make it go up to 25 kilometers an hour. In the handle, you'll also find its brake, which on most models is only situated on the left side of the steering handle, where it's also got a bell, and then it's got its acceleration button on the right side of the scooter. The process of driving is exactly the same as on any of the previous generations. Once turned on, you have to give it a push, step on the scooter and use the acceleration knob to get going. And that's it. You'll get used to that in uh, less than a minute. So what's really improved on the Mi Scooter 3? Well, when folding the scooter, you'll find a new folding lock. This one needs to be pulled out from the bottom, then you can unlock it, move the steering handle down and use the bell, which doubles up to lock the handle for carrying. It's definitely a better locking mechanism as compared to previous models, where you could sometimes break that little plastic locking ring. And uh, this one seems to be a bit stronger. It definitely feels better. So it's a nice improvement. And well, how is it in driving? In terms of driving, it's pretty much the same as the previous generations. It's smooth, the motor seems to sound slightly better though, in my opinion, and the brakes feel stronger. It's quick and easy to maneuver around with, and in terms of use, it just feels good, just like any of the other Xiaomi scooters that I've reviewed in the past. So nothing all that new in the driving experience. I've tried it on some slopes to see if it could handle those, as it uh, should handle that nine to 10 degrees incline. And on the ones that I've tried, that was uh, no problem at all. We do find the little plate on the back of the scooter as we had on the Scooter Pro 2 to attach any license plate if your country requires that. Then how about the app? Well, the app doesn't really add too much in terms of functionality. Sure, we can uh, monitor the battery, we can uh, monitor the speed, we can see some statistics of how much you've driven with the scooter, and we can lock and unlock the scooter, which basically just blocks the wheels. And this gives me some flashbacks to my other reviews, where I would have loved to see uh, either an included lock or some mounting way to attach your own physical lock to be able to park it outside. Sure, we can attach a lock through the wheel, but something in its design to lock it with would have been uh, nice to see. So thus far, what are my thoughts on the Mi Scooter 3 after using it for a while? Well, generally, I always love the Mi Scooters as they're portable, they're strong, they drive nicely, and they feel really well built. Things I love on the Mi Scooter 3 are definitely the new improved braking system. It's always good to have. 
And I love the new locking mechanism to lock and unlock the handle when you're folding it down. This one feels a lot better than on previous generations, definitely a lot more solid. But I kind of would have loved to see some more improvements and I do have the exact same comments on this V3 as I've had since the first generation scooter. An included lock or a better way to add your own lock when you're parking it outside would have been very, very welcome. Something like suspension on the wheels would have been nice to see. And I personally would have totally loved to see brake handles on both sides of the steering handle. So in that regard, sure, there's some improvements on the Mi Scooter 3, but it's not the most groundbreaking upgrade. The Xiaomi Electric Scooter 3 is coming out in Europe and it should go for around 449 euros. The price is not 100% confirmed and that price might vary a little bit per country and region. So what do you guys think of the Mi Scooter 3? Is this the upgrade that you were hoping to see or did you hope for a little bit more? Let me know in the comment section below this video what your thoughts are and don't forget to leave a little like below this video to show me that you've liked it and if you're not subscribed yet, well, know that you probably should. As always, thank you guys for watching and I hope to see y'all soon. Peace.